<laughs> yeah, I believe everyone has an inspirational journey. We all have a story to tell, but sometimes we see these amazing <laughs> stories of speakers on stage and they tell their story about climbing Everest and, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's awesome. But sometimes a lot of people, they disregard their own story, the own adversities they've overcome. You know, some of the speakers that I coach have, uh, they've overcome abuse. And well, guess what? There's somebody out there who needs to hear that story because they're in that situation, they're in that adversity now. So if you look back, just growing up, if you're, if you're an adult, you've overcome some adversities. If you have kids, you've overcome some adversities. If you have teenagers, enough said. <laughs> but what's your inspirational journey? Mine started when I decided I wanted to be a comedian even though I wasn't funny. So I realized, because of a great question, a woman named Bobby Gee, she said, why should anyone listen to you? What have you done or what have you overcome? And I honestly thought, I don't know, lady, that's why I'm here to learn from you. So it took me a while to figure that out and I realized that one of the inspiration or my inspirational journey was how I went from somebody who bombed in a comedy club in 1992 to winning the world championship of public speaking in 2001. And when I thought about what my journey really was, it was because I was willing to fail. And I think if, if you want to live an inspiring life, you've got to be willing to fail.